Hey, what's going on guys? It's Drake here. It's pretty cringe, but oh well. So today, I'm going to be building a kelp farm. And I guess this is also a voice re reveal. Not really, because uh, Zavical's videos have already re revealed my voice. And yeah, let's get started. Alright. So this video is for Bedrock Kelp Farm. The resources you're going to need are 44 stone bricks, or, or actually any blocks. It doesn't have to be stone bricks. Six, 9 redstone, 6 hoppers, 6 slabs, 6 sand, 4 redstone torches, 4 chests. There's a chest right here, so I'm just going to remove this chest. That's why there's only 3 at the moment. Three levers, two smokers, two redstone lamps, two water buckets, two kelp, two pistons, two sticky pistons, two glass panes, and one uh, redstone repeater. Redstone lamps and um, ladders are optional. In fact, even two of these levers are also optional, but you can decide on that. Alright, let's get started. So first, these chests are going to be where your kelp is stored. The lamps are going to uh, hopper lock so that while you're uh, getting the XP, from the smokers, you can actually get it and not uh, have it constantly funnel into this chest. In fact, here's the build. We could turn this machine on and see how much kelp is in this chest by the end of the video. Alright, next. Uh, the hopper's down. This will funnel the uh, kelp, dried kelp into the chest. Uh, next, we put the smokers. This is where the kelp is going to be smelted. Hoppers again. This is where it's going to be funneled into the smokers. And next, we put these chests again. This is where all the kelp is going to be stored. Because you would uh it would it can overflow if you AFK too long. Next let's set up the system to re the repeating system so that the piston that would be here would constantly hit the sand. Alright. So you put a redstone torch in this hole. Uh, redstone in this one. Put a block over both of them. Repeater. And this will create a repeating redstone signal. This lever would pause the signal so you can continue your build. Next, make a redstone line that goes, a redstone signal that goes all the way to these two holes and have a piston. Use the two sticky pistons there. Next, you can use the sand. Put on top. This would make the sand move, and currently it's not working because I have not finished the making of the walls. So I have to remove this. Alright, you have to make these walls so that the sand would not fall in. Alright, next you'll see that this will no longer drop into this hole. And if you look closely, this piece of sand is moving. This is what causes the kelp to go at a higher growth rate. Next, put a torch here. This torch will constantly be signaled 
while the pistons are moving as you can see next put pistol all right the tools are also optional this is if you mess up the build next you can put the piston torches this way This is where you can place the ladder if you want it. This is not mandatory. It just makes it easier in case the machine breaks. All right. Now that we have that settled, put stone brick here. Then it's down here. Wait, no, I'm an idiot. You don't put the redstone there. You put the redstone here, if I'm correct. As you can see, this will cause a repeating signal. Next, you can put the pistons here. The two hoppers, they'll funnel into the chest. The two glass panes, they'll stop the uh, kelp from going over the hoppers. Two blocks there, two blo one block there. Actually, in fact, two would work. Next, you would want the uh, slabs here. Um, right there, you put the blocks to prevent the water from overflowing. And blocks here. Slabs here. And then the two water buckets. Two kelp. And you pretty much done with the build. Next we can cover this up. Cover this up. Cover this up. And oh, sorry. Cover this. Here and here. All right, now this should be working. As you can see, this is a working kelp farm, 1.17. And now you just have to put fuel. Let's see how much we have made. Two stacks and 18 kelp, dried kelp. As you can see, dried kelp can be used as fuel. And if I give myself a crafting table, That is also optional. I make kill blocks. This can help constantly refill. As you can see there is more kill blocks generated than there is kill blocks used. We do not talk about that as I totally did not fall off that and had to go to creative. Don't have, do not have to build this in the air. I'm just building in the air for convenience reasons. And yeah, that is the tutorial for kelp farm. Also, the XP generation. You wait until the is done smelting. This will hopper lock, locking the hoppers so that nothing funnels. And this will pause. See, I got two levels from that easily. Although I am at level zero, uh, I was at level zero. So this farm, the more you AFK at it, the 
better the XP sources because the XP will constantly be building up. And yeah. Well, there you go. That's a kelp farm for 1.17. Point who knows what. <laughs> the end. Well, hello, chicken.